Hey guys, it's Ethan here from the RF Lake and Eve Comish office and today we're going to be looking at this 2019 Harley Davidson Street Bob. We're going to look at it and we're also going to take it out on the road for a drive, uh, a ride, sorry. So, first thing you notice about this bike, the front, it's got these mini apes. Really nice looking apes and they're not too high and they're not too low so you're going to be straight arms, comfortable for those long rides that you're going to be doing. Moving down, new headlight design here. Really nice, it's got the little Harley Davidson logo in the center there, which is just a nice little touch to the bike, really nice. Uh, and then you've got the telescopic forks there. Now these forks are nice and chunky, so it's not it's gonna be more stable and everything, but it's also got these gaiters here. Now these gaiters, not only do they look nice, they've actually got a good feature to this bike. So, bugs and stones and everything when you're riding, not gonna actually be able to hit your forks. So that means your fork seals are gonna stay sealed and it's going to last you longer, you're not going to have leaks. But it also has a flex valve in there, so what that does is, when you hit a pothole, it's going to add more liquid into the forks, so it's not going to jar you and you're going to be riding really comfortably. Then you've got the nice spoked chrome wheels, which just really help again with the looks of the bike. Coming down here, you've got a 3.5 gallon tank. Now this tank is not too big and it's not too small, so you're going to be able to do the mid to long range rides without having to stop all the time and fill up with all those other sport bike riders out there. And then you've got a 107 Milwaukee 8 engine. Now this engine is really powerful, really torquey. We'll talk about more of that when we're actually out on the roads. And it's got all the dark customs, so everything there is nice and, and black, so blacked out. You've got mid controls here as well, which is good for us short riders, but if you are wanting the longer side of more forward controls, you can add that on there as well. Uh, and then you've got your Tommy Gun designed exhausts here. Again, all dark custom, all black until the very end. You've got nice chrome tips, which just again adds to the looks. Then you've got your nice, really comfortable seat up here. Now the seat, really big at the back for comfort, but it narrows at the front. So when you're at a traffic light, your feet can be planted flat on the floor and have full control of the bike. Uh, but it's also designed to go upwards. Now, what that means is when you're putting full throttle, and you have all that torque, you're not going to fire off the back of your seat because it's going to grip you and your butt's going to get stuck there, which is great. And then you come into the rear, it's a nice bob fender here, nice cut fender, it looks really, really good. And then the plate is side mounted to not ruin the looks of this nice bob fender here. Now, that is the bike. Let's actually get on it, let's ride it, let's see what it actually can do. I'm all geared up now, let's get on the bike. So, 27 inch seat, it's very easy to get on. Nice flat foot for me, I'm about 5'10", so it's not too bad. And I don't have a key on me, the key's in my pocket. It's a smart security key, so I don't have to put it in the ignition or anything like that. So, just click that. Detects the key there, see it all turns on. And then the bike's alive. So let's take it for a ride. So the first thing I notice when I'm riding this bike is the bars, they are nice and straight. I really don't feel uncomfortable or anything like that. Um, not too high, not too low and all, all that. I can imagine for a long distance ride it would be really, really great. Seat as well, really, really comfortable. Uh, I ride an MT-07 myself and the seat on that really isn't that great. But on this bike it, it is a lot better. My feet as well. They're actually really comfortable. My knees are a little bit high, so forward controls might be something I'd be interested in getting, but still, it's, it's, it's nothing too bad. It's still quite comfortable. And it handles really nice as well. Just going around these roundabouts, you can really tell that these Dunlop tires do have a lot of grip. And it, it just really does lean nice and everything. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see it too well because of the sun out, but the speedo down here is really nice. You've got your mile per hour, sorry, miles per hour up here. So shows you that. Top right there, you've got your gear indicator. So if I go up to third gear, you see changes there to third. Drop back down to second here. Cool. You got your how many miles is on the bike? So this bike has seven miles right now. And if you flick a switch up here, you can actually cycle through that. So that's the trip A, trip B. So it's this button up here. There's your range. There's a time that hasn't been set, and then your RPM as well, so you can actually have your reps up there as well. I'm going to keep it on the RPM there for a moment. Top left there as well, you've got your uh, fuel gauge as well. So it's got everything, all in a nice little display there, which is really nice. And underneath it there, it's got all your, your warning lights, for example, your engine light, your oil light, and all that as well. So I'm just going to stop here, show you guys my feet. 
all nice and flat, no problems there at all. And my indicator there is it's blinking now, and if I get it back straight, it turns itself off as well. Didn't touch any of the buttons on the uh, controls there, as you might have been able to see. So this, uh, on the right side here on the controls, you've got your hazards up there, you've got your starter there, and you've got your kill switch there as well. Indicators left is on the left side, right is on the right side, obviously. Turn it on. You've got your high beam up here, and then you've got your low beam there as well, and your horn. Uh, this is also a passing light, so you actually press it and the high beam comes on, but it doesn't stay on. The mirrors themselves, you can actually see behind me really, really well. Uh, I would have thought they would be a, my shoulders would be a bit in the way, but they're, they're really not. I can see this car behind me, no problem. So, mirrors are good. But you can see here. So, just letting this car go ahead a little bit. And I'm going to put the throttle on just, just a little bit so we can see what the torque is like. Um, I'm in second gear, so... So it really does have the torque behind it. It is really nice. I wasn't full throttle, that was about quarter throttle. And we, we, we pulled really well. I could feel the seat keeping me in because of the lip that it's got. It is really nice. So what I'm going to do is going to let the Chrysler go ahead a little bit. I'm going to see the, the, the torque on this bike, see, see how it feels. I'm not going to go full throttle in because it is a brand new bike. Um, just, just a little bit, see what it's like. Okay, so it definitely has the power behind it. Uh, really nice. Sounds really nice as well, actually. I, the stock exhaust doesn't sound the best at idle, but when I put throttle on there, it sounded really good. This is third gear. Okay, definitely pulls you. The seat's keeping me in as well. I can feel the uh, lip on the back of the seat uh, just just stopping me from sliding back. It's really nice. Nice little twisties here as well. I'm not, not really struggling about the leaning. I don't even have to think about it. It leans really nice. And, you know, the roads here in England, some of you might know, they're not the greatest, but the, the suspension is really good. I haven't actually felt any of the bumps properly in my arms or anything, which is really nice. And the rear suspension as well is actually adjustable, so if you do feel you're not too comfortable, if the suspension isn't that great, you can actually adjust it as well. Uh, but it's set up perfectly for me right now. So this Chrysler right now is just turning right, so I'm gonna, again, just give it a bit of throttle so you can see the speed of it. There you go. Really nice, I went from about 20 to 50 in seconds, it was great. And I'm third gear, the gears as well are really good, so I'm in third gear right now. It's actually a six speed bike, which is really nice. Um, yeah, it's just, let's go through them, it goes really smooth, so I'm in third gear, straight into fourth, no problem, fifth, so it's a really nice bike, really, really good. So, we're in this town, there's a little, uh, little covers here on the floor to go over them, and yeah, obviously you can feel that you're going over them, but it, it's really nothing, like, on my bike, I would definitely feel a lot more, like these ones, for example, but it, it does it really smoothly, no problem at all. It's a nice little corner here as well, let's lean it in a little bit, give it a bit of power on the way out really really nicely I'm gonna accelerate and I'm gonna use the brakes as well so you guys can really see how good these brakes on this bike is as well so here it goes 60 miles per hour zone so a 60 and then I'm gonna put the front brakes on slaps really really quick I don't want to do it too hard because it's quite behind me but yeah really really nice that was front brake I'll do back brake as well when we get to this junction down here let me see really good brakes Use a bit of front brake here as well, don't want to slide out here on the corner. All the way down the gears again, no problem into first. And then again here, I've got to stop. But the seat, because of the angle of the seat, I can get a flat foot, no problem. Right, so we're uh, starting from 20 miles per hour first gear. Let's give it a little bit of throttle, shift up. It's really, really, really powerful bike. This 107 engine, they've done really good with it. Can't fault it at all. But it's really, really comfortable. I've not been uncomfortable on the ride. I probably would want to consider forward mount controls just because my knees are a little bit high in here. But really, for handling and everything, you could dig your knees there, it'll probably make it a lot easier with these. If you guys like the look of this bike and are interested in actually riding one, because uh, riding season is just around the corner now. As you can see today, it's actually quite nice weather. It's not that cold out. So riding season's coming quick. So pop down to the Lake Neve Commissary office and see myself, Ethan, or my dad, Chris, and we can show you around this bike. And if you've got a license, we can also let you go out for a test ride to see for yourself how it feels. Because right now I'm on really bumpy road. And you can feel it a little bit, 
but the suspension works really well it's it's nothing crazy at all so again we're just getting into a 40 zone here and this bike it, it does like to go fast but at low speeds as well it, it doesn't struggle so i'm in fourth gear right now going 35 miles per hour and the engine isn't like juttering or anything it's handling it really well and it's got torque at any speed as well so a little tiny bit of throttle there and you can already see that the speed's going up quite a bit so engine is really good all around good for city good for uh, highways and just canyon roads with your friends and everything like that it's really good for everything really impressed with this bike so the bike i ride myself the bars are a lot flatter so i'd be riding about here and i always find that comfortable but i am honestly really surprised at how comfy these bars are i thought i'd be it'd feel really weird turning and everything because of how high my arms are but you don't even notice it like easy turning like this it's really really comfortable it's the 2019 harley davidson street bob and honestly i was really really impressed by this bike it handled really nice the seat itself kept me into position really really nice had no issues with that at all uh bars again really really comfortable bars just all around a really really good bike so styling really nice really good looking bike nice custom black paint job there as well so yeah get yourself on this bike you'll really enjoy it